Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. I'm Stan Boney. Tonight, local leaders weighed in. We begin with the major announcement that came down today that General Motors is selling the Lordstown plant to Lordstown Motors Corporation. The company wants to build electric trucks like this one and delivery trucks for the U.S. Postal Service. The decision is months in the making and its potential impact is our top story tonight. We're talking about a possible billion dollar investment. Almost a year after GM announced moving Lordstown to unallocated status, taking thousands of jobs from the area, today's was a major announcement. And this is the future. Electric vehicles are definitely the future. It seems like we've been waiting for months for this announcement. The last crews rolled off the assembly line in March. Just looking out here tonight, how dark it is and realizing what it was a couple years ago. I mean, this plant was full. Seeing it now, it's empty, but soon that could change the way it used to be. GM said today it, quote, believes Lordstown Motor Corps plan to launch the Endurance electric pickup truck has the potential to create a significant number of jobs. So jobs cure a lot of woes and we're looking to uh, work with Lordstown Motors. As for the company itself, Lordstown Motors is pushing the hashtag ride with Lordstown on social media. It could build to be something big and you know there's also a possibility of a battery plant coming here. That could be a billion and a half or maybe even more on top of that. The next step, training the workforce, the future of Lordstown Motor Corp. We work with our universities, we work with YSU, Kent State, Eastern Gateway Community College so that we're prepared for this when this technology comes here. The closure was devastating and with the end of the UAW strike, Lordstown was left out and closed. But that's not the end. The future starts now. We're starting it here in Lordstown. We could be the electrical company of pickup trucks and with the postal contract of the entire country. So it's, it's exciting to see this happening right now. But not everybody is happy about today's announcement. Dan Morgan, shop chairman at UAW 1112, released a statement reading in part, I'm extremely disappointed in General Motors for putting out all of our members families and the community through this challenging time. The most frustrating part is no explanation from the company at all. This has been done behind the scenes. He continues saying for GM to say they care about their employees is the furthest from the truth or they would have been up front through this whole process. Congressman Tim Ryan today also reacted to the announcement that Lordstown Motors is blind, buying the plan. In a statement, Ryan says, quote, I stand ready to help this new company start building electric trucks in the valley and put Northeast Ohioans back to work. State Senator Michael Rooley had this to say, we never gave up on the workers and the community. The workers' resiliency and the fabric of this community lights the way to the future of the Mahoning Valley. Our people are ready to get back to work.